Okay, welcome sa ating isa na namang lecture about design of good memes. An alternative way, but still an allowable stress design method. So this method is used only when CL is equal to 1.0. The beam is simply supported and the load is uniform distributed. So most of our beams in uh, timber design is simply supported okay and laterally supported like floor joist roof beams and so on and so forth and the loads are uniformly distributed so we can just <coughs> derive uh, the formulas para mas madaling compute so as a review CL is 1.0 when the following conditions are met when D is less than or equal to B or when lateral support requirement is met so from our previous lecture we assumed section a wood section B times D then check for a dead position but this time we will set the limits or the allowable values then determine the wood section okay so oh. hanap tayo ng wood section so these are the units to be used para consistent sa ating derived formula gagamitin natin ang mga units na ito per quantity like adjusted allowable bending stress MPA dapat or newton per square millimeter okay sa inyo maya sa design for shear again um, the allowable stretch should be greater than or equal to the actual shear stress pag uh, substitute natin yung formula ng actual Shear stress. Ito yung kakalabasan. Pabasikin man ano? And um, ito yung uh, magiging formula niya. So, we, if we solve for the area, okay? now area is equal to B times B. Okay, so therefore, ito yung magiging uh, formula natin for the section or the area of the beam. Ayan ang gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung section for shear. Usually, ito ang inuuna nating uh, kinocompute pag itong method ang gagamitin natin dahil Itong FB, walang masyadong adjustment factor ito. Okay? At hindi kailangan nito ng uh, size factor. Which is, hindi pa nga natin alam kung ano yung size na gagamitin natin. Kaya, mas mainam na ito muna ang check natin. And then, we i-check natin sa, saka natin check sa bending or flexure. So, ito naman yung formula natin for bending. <coughs> And section modulus, this is related to the section of the, or the wooden section. Kaya yan ang isolve natin. So, double L square over 8FB. So, take note na meter ito. No? Meter. This is Newton per meter. Pero naka-square yung length. Ibig sabihin, Newton per meter times meter squared. May isang meter na matitira rito. Okay? Ito naman, Newton per square millimeter. Magka-cancel yung Newton. May iiwan ang square millimeter. Now, ang unit ng S section modulus is millimeter cube. Okay? Pero millimeter square 
tataas yan. May isang meter dito. Kaya i-convert natin into millimeter yung naiwang isang meter dito. By multiplying it to 1,000 mm. Okay? So, ayan. I-simplify natin dahil may 8 tayo dito. 1,000 divided by 8 is 1 to 5. Ito yung resulting formula. Design for deflection. Now, dahil usually ay ang limit ng deflection ay L over 240 and L over 360. Tinuhan na lang natin. Okay? So, allowable deflection should be greater than or equal to actual deflection. Ayan. And then, dahil millimeter to the fourth ang unit ng moment of inertia, may maiiwang kasi dito sa taas na meter squared. Okay? Kaya, multiply natin ng 1,000 millimeter per meter square din natin para ma-convert ito ng millimeter. Okay? So, yan. Parehas din yan dito sa <coughs> L over 360. So, ito yung mga formulas. Sakali. Okay? So, we have an example. It is similar to our previous example. So, 4 meters this is span. Ito yung mga load. 80% stress grid but there is a continuous lateral support so ibig sabihin the support requirement for lateral stability is met okay and 1 over 360 ang deflection limit the beam is not repetitive so we are not using the c sub r factor so beam weight is already included okay sa dead load Find a beam section, adequate for the given load, deflection and deflection limit according to ASD or WSD. <coughs> now this is our figure and our load, the given loads, etc, etc. And these are the reference design values taken from the table. So, gamitin natin yung load combinations. Dead load and live load lang meron tayo. Okay, yan. 10,000 newton per meter. So, again, convert natin sa units. Diba? Pinakita ko sa inyo para consistent sa ating uh, derived formulas. So, again, i-adjust natin. CD Ang shortest duration natin ay live load which is 1.0 ang factor. So, this is 1.0. Ito, CM, moisture factor. Wala namang, wala naman tayong uh, ibang given na merong moisture factor na ikakonsider. So, again, that is 1.0. Temperature, wala naman, 1.0. Insizing factor, hindi sinabi ko insized. So, 1.0. So, 1.0 lahat ng factors equal to 1.73 mp. <coughs> so, the required area is equal to this, this one. Okay? So, 17,341.04 square millimeter. So, try natin yung B is equal to 75 mm nominal so para makuha natin actual sa module 1 tinakil natin subtract natin ng 12.5 ngayon makukuha natin ang D okay so that is <coughs> so kunin natin yung nominal D Uh, yung nominal so mag add tayo ng 18.75 again from our lecture 1 okay 
pag more than 200, 18.75 yung i-add natin. Or, yung isusubtract natin para maging net size. Pero this time, gagawin natin nominal size. Okay? So, 296, let's say 300 mm. So, ang nominal dimension ng ating wood beam ay 75 by 300. Convert natin sa net size actual dimension. 62.5 by 21.25. So, ito yung actual area which is greater than the required area which is 17,000. So that's why it is okay for shear. So, for bending, kunin naman natin yung S actual din. So, ito ang formula. 823,000. <coughs> now, para makuha ng S required, kailangan natin i-adjust yung FB. So, again, CD is 1. Ayan. CF is, again, 1 because yung ating gagamitin na ito is hindi naman 1, 2, 5 ang B. Okay? 75 naman tayo. Kaya 1. CFU, hindi naman natin gagamitin flat yan. 1.0. And sizing, again, not repetitive. So, 1.0 lahat yung mga factor nito. So, it is 16.5 pa rin. Now, ito yung required. So, it is 1,212,121.212. Millimeter cube. It is greater than the actual. So it is not. It is not okay. Okay. <coughs> so we could try. Palakihin natin yung section. 100 by 300. Nominal. So, nakita natin, nagiging okay na siya. Okay? Since mas malaki yung actual kaysa itong required. So, kunin natin yung moment of inertia. Magamit natin sa pag-design natin for deflection. Ayan. Ang moment of inertia niya. Actual. So, yung section na yun na kuha natin sa bending, gagamitin natin dito sa deflection. So, ito yung required natin. Kunin natin. Pero, i-adjust muna natin yung puro 1.0 din lang. So, 7310 MPA. So, I required is 410 million. Which is greater than the actual moment of inertia. Which is not okay. Palakihin ulit na rin. 100 by 450. Okay? Baka sigurado na yan. So, this is the actual moment of inertia. 584 million. Okay? So, since makikita natin actual is greater than required moment of inertia, of course, this is Okay. Okay. So, we can then conclude that we can use 100 by 450 nominal 80% stress grade apito. Okay? So, kanyan lang man. Okay? So, yung assignment nyo naman is still uh, a simply supported beam with this following. Okay? Kadadagdag ko lang itong nalimutan ko. Ang span ng ating beam ay 3 meters lang. So, find the adequate section of the beam. Okay? So, this is our lecture. Thank you.